Fellow Spartans, how you doing and welcome back to another video and today we are here with some medieval mayhem and that is right, we are on medieval too ladies and gentlemen because hopefully I'm going to be doing sort of a new sort of, well, yeah, set of vi videos really where I'm going to be covering epic battles on medieval 2, you know, sort of like grand sieges, big open battles like this, 2v2 and just having a good time really you know and hopefully you guys will enjoy it as well because if you want epic grand battles of fantastic spectacles then there's nothing better that I feel than this game medieval 2 it's fantastic for that so here we are in an open battle two of our players are playing as France we've got England and the Holy Roman Empire on the other side can they beat the French or will these guys France win the day let's find out ladies and gentlemen if you do like the sound of this as a sort of a regular series or regular videos and battles then you know let me know and by doing that let me know by spearing that like button if I get more than 250 likes on the video then you will get a lot more of these videos very very soon indeed a lot more of these epic battles to enjoy so already oh the noble ally the French have lost one of their commanders the Holy Roman Empire pushing hard on this side though, look at this, they are trying to push against my French cavalry but I've driven them back and the lines here are bit taking a battery now, look at this, the French must stand strong or oh, charge out at them, see what they can do, look at these, these dismounted chivalric knights, can they hold on, oh god we've got some peasants coming across here, how have they gone to the battlefield? Oh, and even oh, even the other French general has lost his life. You wouldn't believe it. Already, only minutes into the battle, and both the French armies have lost their commanders. Oh, look at this! The English have flanked around the back, gone straight for the French uh, catapults there. Oh, that is not good news for them. How are we doing over this side? How are the French doing? Oh, they seem to be doing a fantastic job against the English. In fact, they've swept around the field there, just mowed them down and just picking off the rest of the units before the English completely route. but they seem to have brought some of their units across to hit this other French army, the Holy Roman Empire trying to push hard in fact but the French are standing very strong and it is tough, tough at the moment because you don't know where, where or sorry not where but how this battle is going to go, it could go either way but look at the French now, they're bringing the second army across to really support their allies because as I say the Holy Roman Empire are really pushing hard in these French lines ah oh, the enemy are losing a lot of men though quite quickly so the French are doing a pretty damn good job here but yeah this is uh, this is pretty solid stuff I do enjoy a bit of medieval too when I can get on this game because it is a fantastic is example of it's just a great total war game isn't it really yeah, I'm sure you guys would appreciate that but uh, yeah the French are doing rather well here oh dismounted chivalric knights going in ah but the French are starting to lose men as well now but the the allies have brought across units in the rear to support this is pretty intense stuff, especially here, these armoured Imperial Knights fighting off against some armoured sergeants and some dismounted um, chivalric knights. So this is pretty, you know, knight v knight here. The elite versus the elite. Cavalry go cavalry routing there, the French sergeants. So it's literally back and forth here, back and forth. Oh, unit of heavy cavalry of the Holy Roman Empire, the general's body kind of got through the lines here. Oh, they're charging straight for this dismounted Chivalric Knights. Oh, but the heavy armor can hopefully hold there. They've lost a few men, though. But the General's Bodyguard usually do come off and these, and these sort of skirmishes because they are very tough units indeed. The lines are starting to break, though, now. And, oh, look at these. <laughs> these peasant archers are going for a charge, are they? Unbelievable, you wouldn't have thought they'd done, they'd have done that, but you're driving the enemy away. The peasants are running. The peasant archers are winning. Our men are winning the battle. Absolutely. Oh, volley. They have lost half their men. This is great stuff. The French seem to be taking control of the field now. 
there's not much left of the enemy. It's just a few remnants of units dotted about. And oh, and there goes the Holy Roman Empire's commander. That will surely shock the enemy now into retreat. We surprisingly did quite, quite well, actually. We seem to have held our line. Um, even though we lost both our commanders, they, we still carried on. The French remained strong. I mean, these guys field some of the best cavalry units in the game, so no doubt that supremacy is going to come through in the end. And here we go. Bit of a final sort of standoff here. These mounted crossbowmen realising that the battle is lost. It's all over. They're fleeing the field now. The, the French the have Rise won the day. In dramatic style, ladies and gentlemen, and it's been a pretty decisive we victory. Victorious. There we Our go. Fought and died well today. Pretty solid. Captain Gillot, Gillet, Gillot, he only lost 427 men. But uh, the other units or the other army lost a little bit more, 1,007. But in the end, they took out a lot of the enemy forces. The Holy Roman Empire and England could not defend could not win the day against the French they came out and they were victorious ladies and gentlemen so I hope you enjoyed this little battle today on medieval 2 as I say I'll be doing some more of these if you want me to just drop the video a like and as I say 250 or more of these likes and I will do this uh, more and more for you and I'll make them even more epic we'll get some big siege battles going in castles across the lands of Europe so uh, do look out for them if you so wish but uh, yeah thank you very much for watching but until next time, this is Warrior Spotter for now saying, farewell.